Hey Taurus, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. I decided to go ahead and bring back that last they tell and the secrets they keep series because you guys really did love that in the month of March. So I am hoping that it plays out the way that you guys wanted to this month as well Taurus. Okay, I've already been acclimating the cards to your energy for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But while I continue to acclimate the cards to your energy, please take this time to go ahead and subscribe to the tribe. Ring that bell so you can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And, oh yeah, what did I want to say about the lies we tell and the secrets we keep? This series is... Um, created to specifically gauge your surrounding energies as it pertains to co-workers, friends, loved ones, or family members that may be in the energy of deception or secrecy, okay? So they could be lying to you or hiding something from you, which essentially is the same thing. Okay, so let's just see for the astrological sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020, Spirit. Are there any energies or what energies around the astrological sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus are deceptive or secretive spirit? What deceptive or secretive energies are around the astrological sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay. Ancient wisdom. So I definitely do feel as though your uh, ancestors are around you at this time with the ancient wisdom. You could be receiving some type of advice or um, some type of heads up from an elder, whether that be a living grandparent, grandmother or grandfather, or, you know, even your mom and dad. But if not, this can definitely be signs and synchronicities from your ancestors. Now, whether you're seeing that or not. I'm not sure yet, but let's just see. Is there any deceptive or secretive energy around the astrological sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? One more. I got this as I was pre-shuffling. Autumn is my last hope. Which at the end of the world. So this is definitely like the death card or the world card because you guys are nearing an ending. And I don't feel like you're very particularly happy about it. I mean, look at her eyes. It's like, you know something is running out of time here. You know that you're at the end of a cycle, essentially. Um, but there's somebody here that's really hoping for another chance. And either the last time you saw this person was in the fall, um, was in autumn. This person's name could be Autumn or... Um, the next time this person tries to approach you will be this coming autumn, which is months to come. But there is somebody around here that you will have an ending with or that you feel something at the looming end with. Um, that there's going to possibly be a chance to resurrect this or you probably gave this person their last chance in, in the fall. Okay? At the bottom of the deck, what we have, Miracle. Alright? So, let's see. Whatever the case is, this situation is meant to be dead and gone at this time because it's time for you to start something new. And by starting something new, you have to end something. In addition to that, I do feel like your foremothers and forefathers are definitely warning you about the situation or at least giving you a heads up that something is meant to come to a complete ending so that something new can begin here. Um, I continue to get strangely lonely too, which is holding on way too tight for you guys as I was pre-shuffling before I, I pressed record. Um, so that is definitely like a codependency to something or someone holding on way too tight to something that's no longer meant to be. Uh, okay, let me concentrate because I'm definitely getting some things here. Okay, spirit, why is the lady with the Bosch egg ancient wisdom here for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And remember, this can be living grandparents, parents, or ancestors. But you definitely getting some advice or guidance from someone. <clears throat> Why is Lady with the Boss Egg here? Ancient wisdom. Something ain't working. Okay? So you have been cautioned to release something and it is something that you holding on too tight to. And like I said, um, I was getting a lot of codependency energy as I was pre-shuffling or meditating over you guys' energy. 
before I press record. So there is something that you really don't want to let go of, you know, and you may be having to admit to yourself because I'm getting self-deceptive energy. If it's not self-deceptive energy, then you may be needing to let something go that had you in deceptive energy. So it could very well, yeah. Okay, the Queen of Swords energy. This is something that's like, I don't want to say negative in your life, but it's probably a lot of like harsh talking, um, negative communication, somebody being closed off to you or you them. And there's a sense of you finding out something about this person here. Finding out some type of lies, which is causing you to release this person. Um, whatever you finding out about this person, I definitely do feel that ancestors led you to to whatever this is. Mm -hmm. So maybe this person was codependent on you or is codependent on you. And so you can feel like the connection between you guys are is absolutely negative, but in a sense they need you financially or something. And maybe maybe they didn't present themselves as this before. Okay, which at the end of the world. <clears throat> this person could be saying anything to hold on to you, Taurus, is what I'm getting here. Especially with the Queen of Swords. I'm seeing that as sharp communication. But also, they could just be uh, have the gift of gab. Okay, this is mistress energy or high, uh, the high priestess. When they come up in some sort of love reading to me, that's like a secret. A secret love affair and injustice here. All right. Okay, what is the injustice to one person? It's like a victory or a dream to another. Because I get the star card here. That's that's the astrological sign of Aquarius. The justice in reverse is the astrological sign of Libra. Five of Pentacles. Something is being left out in the cold here. So maybe some secretly somebody is being left out in the cold in order for you to follow your dreams. Or you're being left out in the coast for somebody else to follow their dreams. But there is a sense of somebody finding wish fulfillment. And the other person secretly finding wish fulfillment here. Because with the high priestess, I definitely feel like somebody is secretly moving on. With the chariot, somebody is secretly moving on here. To something that's really going to make them happy. Especially with the star card here. And somebody feel like they're unjustly being left behind. And that could be this Queen of Swords here. Autumn is my last chance. I do feel as though there's something about finances here. Somebody could be being left behind because they're financially unstable. And so, uh, so Taurus, in a sense, there is a sense of you or this person feeling like you can't give this person what they need anymore. King of Pentacles in reverse. So there's a sense of of emotional unavailability or falling out of love with somebody that I feel that you feel is not financially stable enough. I feel like maybe this person depends on you and they spend frivolously and they put you in a poor house. I'm getting six of cups here. There's a sense that it's being revisited, like I said, possibly by the fall. <clears throat> Let's um clarify this here. So it could be actually you that has the hidden agenda because I'm getting the King of Pentacles in reverse. So you being viewed as being selfish at this time. But if not, then I just feel like somebody that's extremely materialistic is being left behind because somebody feel like they don't get any peace stability reciprocation okay why is the four of pentacles in reverse here for taurus sun moon and rising yeah okay it's making somebody happy to let this thing go or maybe somebody is is letting this go to move towards something that makes them happier or a leo Golly, that jump. Okay, so why is the seven of swords here in reverse? 
again, Taurus, I'm definitely getting here that there is a sense of somebody wanting to move on but not saying anything to the other person. So maybe the other person found out without you telling them. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Seven of Swords here. We got the mature woman. So maybe it's a woman figure that got caught. A woman was trying to sabotage this situation here. An older woman. That could have been the mistress because I definitely got the high priestess right next to this. Yes. Oh, gosh. So somebody is looking like they took somebody for that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is a third party situation. And there was a sabotaging by a mistress here. Um, Taurus, you could have felt extremely lucky. Or like this was true love to you, this high priestess energy. They could be a Pisces. If not, they could be intuitive. If not, this is just literally a mistress. The justice in reverse here. There could have been a divorce here. If not, somebody literally got took for their money, man. Somebody felt like they was in love and moving towards something that made them happier. And this person spent up their money and dipped. So it looks like somebody got duped by the mistress. Somebody took your money and dipped. Like I said, <clears throat> we got the thief here. Somebody wasted your time, pickpocketed you, and was out the back door. You could have took this person on cruises, boat, boat trips. Um, you really thought this person was you number one you cut somebody out for this person you did you cut somebody out for this person why is the king of cups in reverse yeah there is a sense now the king of cups is in reverse here let's get one more because i'm getting a coffin in reverse and a bad health in reverse so okay Taurus, you could be absolutely afraid to tell somebody about this tell somebody the truth about this because there's so much about messages not being passed Why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? I do feel like this is the person that got left behind. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so with the with the Six of Cups crown in the reading, Taurus, you very well could be trying to go back to the person that you left behind after the person that you left for dissed you. So let's say you will serve some type of karma. Now you're trying to come back or go back to your previous person and claim you know, I always loved you. We actually meant to be together because you feel codependent on this person. Because somebody else drained you. And now you realize, okay, oh, I want another relationship with you. You definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius. Because we got the star and the courtship card here. So you definitely could be trying to move back towards somebody after you took an L. Okay, so why is the Five of Pentacles here? There could be a sense of like heavy watching before you move back towards this person. Maybe you watch them work. You wonder if they have somebody new or if it's been too long in between the time that you actually seen this person. There's a sense of you wanting to tell this person the truth because you feel like it's the right thing. But you feel like that's going to put you in a position where this person will never take you back. Why is the King of Pentacles here in reverse, Taurus? Look, now you got one person on your mind, and it was the person you was disloyal to. And you was disloyal to them over basically somebody that was either a sugar baby or somebody you was a sugar baby to. So, because I am getting an older woman, so maybe you had a sugar mama. But obviously this person did not 
feel your expectations, Taurus. You felt like they was different than what they were. Maybe you felt like they were truly a loving and genuine and kind person, but really they was just a hoochie out for your money. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse here? Yeah, you concerned. You like, should I even take a trip back down memory lane? This person going to view me as completely self-centered and selfish for even coming back that way after I left them for somebody else. Will they take me back? Is this the opportunity that I can have again? Maybe you come bearing gifts. Or maybe you go back to this person and they, they um basically welcome you with open arms and you're not even expecting that here. But you come back to tell this person that you see that they was the real prize to begin with. Okay, Taurus. So it's looking like you the person with the secrets to be revealed here, honestly. And I'm only saying that because of the King of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> but it very well could have been the Aquarius that was doing this in this situation. So just put the energies as they go. But regardless to what somebody left got played and now they want to go back to who they left that's what i'm getting in this situation here and i don't feel like the person that's being returned to really knows what happened so they kind of left in the dark as it pertains to what exactly took place in order for their relationship to break up i feel like this person knew intuitively but they weren't for certain Okay, Spirit, can we get more advice for the astrological sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of April 2020 <laughs> as it pertains to their surrounding energies, any deceptive or secretive energies around the astrological sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? More advice, Spirit. Wisdom. Okay, so somebody had to learn a lesson out this situation. Yeah. Wisdom and wonders. Okay, so maybe somebody here didn't have much experience, you know. There was a sense of somebody feeling as though they didn't get enough chance to sow their oats. They didn't get enough chance to, like, really see what type of women there were out there. So that's why they was easily intrigued and lured away by shiny things. And this definitely looks like penetration. So there was definitely physically cheating there, of course. If somebody is going to, um, you know, basically leave, stillness is here. So this person was left in some type of solitude in order to take the time. Like, how can you see a, star, a night full of star, stars if it's not?